How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Is life completely and absolutely absurd, or is there some inherent meaning to this thing we call life? Now, absurdum is essentially the idea that the fact that we exist, the fact that we're on this planet, is bizarre in and of itself. And the only course of action is obviously to embrace that bizarreness and become like the crazy artist that shits all over the walls and just embraces, expresses themselves in every which way, uh, nick nanny possible. And there's also the idea that life has some overarching meaning and we must seek and search to, to find this meaning. We must dedicate our lives to this overarching values of life. <clears throat> If you're to ask me, I feel the the current philosophy, the current belief in a lot of young people these days would be absurdism. I won't say it's a complete and utter nihilism. <clears throat> it, it, it is definitely more of an absurdism. It's like, okay, life is weird. A lot of things around us going on is just freaking bizarre. So let's just have fun and, and live a bizarro lifestyle. You see that a lot in the West, at least. Um, I definitely think the idea or the belief that there's meaning in life is it's an older belief. Um, there's definitely a lot of people that still do believe that, which is good, um, in my opinion. If you'd ask me, I believe that there is inherent meaning to life. I believe that you make that meaning. So essentially, if you believe that life is absurd, then life is absurd to you. If you believe that... Uh, that there is no meaning well then there is no meaning to you but i feel like if you believe there is meaning and you give it meaning then there is meaning to you if that makes sense i know it's a very like was it liberal perspective a very open perspective <clears throat> but with that being said in my humble opinion i do believe that there is like some overarching set of values, set of rules that govern the universe, almost like the laws of the universe, if you will. And if you follow these, if you are creative, intelligent enough to to follow these unwritten rules, if you will, then you will be rewarded, you will be gifted, and if you do not, then you will be punished. Uh, kind of how I came about this is I've just always <clears throat> had a sense of what's what to do pretty much. I've always just had a sense of what's right and wrong and I've always been I've always been surrounded by like a more spiritual um, family if that makes sense. like my family's always been very spiritual, not necessarily religious, but definitely spiritual. So I've kind of just grew up in that and had this uh, this more esoteric view of life. And that's not to say that my life is the most, my view is the most correct or, or anything like that. I'm just explaining how I look at the world. Um, so yeah, like, like what is right? You know, what's the right one to pick? Is life absurd? Is there meaning? Is there no meaning? Um, like what's the, what's the right thing to do? Should I pursue religion? You know, in my opinion, it really just depends on the type of person you are. If you are the type of person that is geared towards an absurdist point of an absurdist lifestyle, then that is that's that's it. If you're a person who's geared towards nihilism, I would just say stop it. And, and don't do that because that's just ridiculous. Um, but if you're a person that's more geared towards religion, then go for religion. If you're a person that's more geared towards uh, an esoteric point of view, then go for that. It really just depends on uh, on what you grew up around, what you've been exposed to, and what feels like home to you. Now, unfortunately, some people um, have grown up in a nihilistic point of view their whole lives and that's just uh, that's the one thing that I'll have to say is a no-go if you were to ask me I would just if you're saying you want to go nihilism I would just say don't I'd say that's a really foolish idea because it really doesn't lead anywhere it kind of just how have you nihilism is as a guaranteed death sentence 
you basically you're basically choosing to end your life uh whether or not you know it um because with such a belief that there is absolutely utterly nothing to this world and that uh you pretty there's no responsibility you you, you basically give up responsibility you're signing away your life um but if you're nihilist that doesn't matter to you anyways so i guess go for it but <laughs> Uh, me personally, if I have the choice between living a life, even though I have to take on responsibility, or just not living a life, I'd much rather just choose to live a life because it's more fulfilling in the long run. I mean, if you live a nihilist life when you're old and you look back and you haven't done anything, you haven't had kids, you haven't had a family, you haven't done anything with your life except consume and shit and, and piss and, and come, then like... That would, that would be a pretty painful way to go out, I could imagine. But, you know, if you've at least, like, made the choice to do something, then you can at least look back in your old age and reminisce and, and live in nostalgia, which would be nice. Um, yeah, as for absurdism, I definitely think it's better than nihilism. But at its core, I still believe it's nihilistic because it's, like, it's, like, nihilism plus. It's, like... It's like nihilism, but not as bad is a good way to describe it. Because like absurdism's like pretty much there's, there isn't really meaning to life. There's a lot of wild shit going on. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. So I might as well just embrace it. Like it actually embraces life, if that makes sense. Like somebody who would adopt an absurdist point of view would still go out and like live a life, but like with an undertone of nihilism. So it might not be a very fulfilling life. It might not be a, a even a great life, but it's still living a life nonetheless. But nihilism is just like, that's just a renunciation of existence all in and of itself. And I mean, I know this video is going, going all over the place, but if you look at like, uh, like monks and stuff and Buddhism, you have to kind of think, wait, like, isn't that kind of nihilism a little bit? But they got like some figurehead or something that's like, provides that so not completely but it's kind of like makes you think <clears throat> but yeah like i was saying as for me when it comes to uh an overarching value system of life i don't really follow the religious too closely i've obviously read religious texts like i've read the bible to an extent uh, I read a little bit of the Quran. I wanted to read the Torah a little bit just to, I don't know, get some ideas. <clears throat> I've read uh, the Kabbalion. It's like some ancient religious text about some guy named Hermes Trismegistus. And he like talks about the uh, the laws of the universe. That struck home to me. Uh, I feel like a lot of ancient perspectives on life strike home to me. Like the idea that life is cyclical. I feel like a lot of people view life as a string stretched out over time. And it only goes one direction, obviously. But it's, it's just, I feel like they look at it as a long stretch of events. Whereas me, I kind of view life as like, like almost like the the seasons and maybe that's because I grew up in Canada but like I view life in the seasons like the the summer the rise the fall winter the cool and then spring the rise again I, I've always viewed life that way and <clears throat> yeah on top of that I've, I've like the idea <clears throat> of these laws to the universe it really just clicks home with me you know there's certain maybe more mystical things that one can do to, to better their lives and to put themselves in a better position. And by adhering to said laws, and I'm not going to tell you, like, that you have to live this way, but, like, example an example of one of these, I guess, laws of the universe, if you will, is just to, like, what goes around comes around, you know, you do good, good should come back. You do bad, bad will most likely come back to you kind of thing. Um, there is good and there is evil and the, and the universe is what you make it. So what you put your mind to, what you put your attention to uh, will become your reality. So if you feel um, 
if you feel like shit and you think you're shit, then you'll become like shit. If you feel like you're good and you aim to do good and you try to do good, then you will become good. Like, I feel like uh, the the universe is more mind than it is body, if that makes sense. And on top of that, like, as above, so below, like, what you do on the low, what you do on a micro scale um, expands out on the macro scale. And what's happening on the macro scale, like, macro habits, it comes down to the minor habits, like, all uh, stuff kind of like that. Um, like the rise and the fall, you know, life is cyclical. I take that kind of approach to life, a more esoteric, if you will, a little bit more spiritual, if that makes sense, even though I'm not gonna call myself like some spiritual figure, that's just, that's just how I roll about life, man. <clears throat> but yeah, as to whether which one's the best to choose, which one's the right one, it really just depends. I mean, I've kind of been all three of the ones that I've discussed, I've been nihilistic, I've been absurd, absurd, and I've even tried religious. And but the one that that fits home for me is a more like esoteric, spiritual um, perspective on life that there is like meaning and all that kind of stuff. And it kind of went in that order too. I started off as nihilist, I went absurdist, and then I became religious, and then I became what I am now. I can't really give it a word. I don't know what to call it. It's like a, like a mixture of all these different things. It's my own little thing. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found value in it. I know this video was completely and utterly bonkers, almost absurd <laughs> to put it lightly. But yeah, anyways, take care guys. And until next time.